everyone <laughs> welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i shared a video but i am back with more consistent ones and today's really a casual vibe i'm just hanging out at my house it's a rainy sunday and i'm going through my closet and that means i'm finally facing a huge bag i've had of shoes that i need to get rid of uh, it's a little bit emotional because I love these shoes, but as you can see, some of them are just torn due to the way I walk. And I thought it would be a fun video to talk through what kind of shoes I wear with cerebral palsy. So I here have some of my favorite ones that I'm just going to quickly give an overview of how they work for me, how they don't work for me, and then sadly part with them because I ruined them. I'm going to begin by talking a little bit about what my relationship has been with shoes and that's going to start with this one right here. So this one is from Target. It is a cheaper version of shoes that most people would get. It's around $17 and I usually try to get it on sale and that's because I go through shoes super quickly. Uh, this one isn't too bad but you can see it kind of wears in the front and there is a little bit of... A hole and the more I wear a shoe the more there's a hole and I can literally feel a breeze when I'm walking which is usually my cue I need to throw them out because I do go through shoes so quickly I try to get the cheaper version um, I always have throughout my life it doesn't feel right for me to spend you know 50 60 100 dollars on a pair of sneakers that I'm gonna have to throw out in just a couple months um, so that is the shoe right here from Target um, I used to get sneakers from Target and Walmart as well. It's not the most supportive shoe, it's just a pretty flat sole, but I still wear this pretty often. Right now I wear it in an off-white, but this is an old black one I have. Um, and yeah, so throughout my life I never really felt like I could or should purchase a more expensive shoe like a Nike because they're so expensive and I essentially am just throwing money into the garbage after a couple of weeks. Now that you know how I felt about shoes throughout my whole life, let's talk about this shoe right here. So this was my first ever expensive shoe you can say that I owned. Um, and it was actually gifted to me from a friend, Steph, I'll tag her here, but she used to be a Nike ambassador. And she sent me the shoe, a Metcon from Nike. And I fell in love with it. I was really, really impressed with the front of this shoe because it is kind of a thicker rubber. It lasted me longer than any shoe had ever lasted me in my life. This is the first pair of Metcons I had. Like I said, it lasted me probably around eight months before I had to retire it, stop wearing it. And I was really impressed by it. And then I was just so excited to be wearing Nike for the first time, like a true brand name, that it kind of got me into wanting to try the more expensive shoe. I'm going to keep this video specifically talking about the sneakers that I wear. I primarily wear sneakers the most out of any other type of shoe, but back to the story. So these are Sorel, which is a brand. I have boots with them and then I have these sneakers. They are part of their universal adaptive line. So as you can see here, they have Velcro. They open up, which allows me to open that very wide so it's easy for me to put my foot into which has been such a game changer because with other shoes that you traditionally have to tie even like the Metcons it's harder for me to get my shoe or to get my foot into the shoe so I love these wide opening they have a really big loop right here so when I am putting them on it's easy for me to pull it up um, and there's loops on the strap overall the easiest shoe I've ever owned the easiest sneaker getting on and off my only critique about them, the front of it isn't, um, it's not similar to the Metcon at all, where it's very thin fabric. So I did rip through these pretty quickly. Uh, so I really only wore them to the gym or to the airport places that I needed easy on off sneakers. But for longevity, these weren't the best option, but they are lightweight, so I like them. Continuing to talk about adaptive shoes, this is the Nike Fly Ease, which is one of my favorite ones. Another one that is really easy for me to get on and off. They do have this zipper feature here. So again, it opens the shoe pretty wide, easy for me to just place my 
foot into and then zip back up. You don't have to deal with tying, especially if you have limited dexterity in your hands or fingers. Um, for me, it's just about mobility and stretching down to my foot, putting it on. So these are really great just because they do have that easy access getting in. I will say these lasted a little bit longer because the front of them is a little bit more tough than the Sorel ones. Um, and again, just a really great sneaker. They're lightweight, they're comfortable, and one of my favorites that unfortunately I'm so sad to have to get rid of, but I will be purchasing a new pair soon. All right, to close out this sneaker category here, these are a pair of Keds. I think they're the champions. I really like them because they are similar to the ones I get from Target. They are a little bit more expensive, but the quality is uh, a little bit better. I think the sole is really comfortable. Um, it's a little dirty here, but it's softer. They have more of just support when I'm walking and they're a little bit more thicker of a shoe and more support all around. So I do really like these. They're more of my casual shoes. As you can see, I made them pretty dirty because they're white and then also have a rip here. Um, but definitely another kind that it, it's an investment, but one that I like to wear. All right, that's a wrap for my very quick sneaker review of the shoes that I've worn and loved and unfortunately have to get rid of. But uh, just while we're on the topic of shoes, so sneakers really are my go-to because of the way that I walk. I can't wear flip-flops, I can't wear sandals. Um, even kind of a ballet flat is hard for me because of the way uh, my foot goes and my ankle pops up, my heel really easily pops out of shoes. So, so sneakers are usually my best option for just making sure my foot is secure in the shoe and won't come out of it while I am walking. So if you're interested in other shoe reviews or other adaptive clothing or anything like that, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any shoe recommendations for me to try out, let me know in the comments. I'm really excited and hopeful to see more brands really implementing more adaptive sneakers uh, or shoes universally because I think even while they are made for people with disabilities, it just makes shoes easier for anyone to get on and off. Um, so I'm really excited and optimistic for what brands are going to do in the next couple of years. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I have new travel vlogs coming out soon and I'm really excited to continue sharing with you guys. Let me know what else you want to see in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I just like... <laughs> I'll do it in front. So lean back. No, back. And I'm just going to drop them down. <laughs> do it all at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. That hurt. No. <laughs> Maybe I could do it in such a dish.